What's up, Bulls fans? The Chicago Bulls beat the Memphis Grizzlies 118 to 110. And if I'm being 100% honest with you, the Bulls look like a dumpster fire. With everything we've seen that happen today, it is truly sad to say you are a Bulls fan. Even if they won tonight's game, there were so many things that aggravated me watching this game. And we're going to talk about that right after the intro. Welcome to the Let's Talk Bulls podcast. Welcome back, guys, to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. And this is going to be a rant video. Even though the Bulls won this game, even though they beat the Memphis Grizzlies, I can honestly say that today has been a terrible day to be a Chicago Bulls fan. The game started out with the Bulls looking like they just were not ready to be on an NBA floor playing a dismantled Grizzlies team. Basically, we played a G League team full of 10-day contracts, and the Bulls barely, and I mean barely, got the victory. And honestly, the first half, they looked like they couldn't even win the game. Like, I thought this was going to be a game where there was a chance we can get blown out by a bunch of scrubs. And that's just not okay. Especially when you add what has happened today, AK coming out after the Bulls for the third year in a row did absolutely nothing at the trade deadline. And we saw a press conference where AK sat there smugly looking at a camera talking about how the Bulls are competitive and how they didn't see anything that would make them a better team, right? Nothing that would make this team better at the trade deadline. We then saw them come out after that competitive statement, and look like absolute trash, right? I don't even give a shit that the Bulls won this game, right? 118 to 110 is like a two-point win when you face a team that is dis dismantled like the Grizzlies, right? When you look at the Grizzlies, their team is basically playing scrubs, right? They're playing a G League team right now, a bunch of 10-day contracts, most of their roster is injured, and the Bulls couldn't even get a decent victory. It came down to the wire. And when you look at this game, Jerry Jackson Jr., 28 points, two rebounds, four assists, four for 10 from the three-point line, made the Bulls look bad, right? Not only that, you also had the, the off-the-bench G.G. Jackson for this team score 27 points. The bench player scored 27 points. This is a team who doesn't have their main roster. And you can't even stop people. It took DeMar DeRozan having a great game of 30 points to even keep the Bulls in this game, right? Kobe White scored 20. Vu scored 20. Yes, they got their points, right? Even Andre Drummond had 21 points. But the issue here is they should have had those points. You're playing a team that doesn't have real players on it. This team consistently talks about how they want to stick to continuity, how they want to be a championship team sometime in the future, how they refuse to look mediocre, and they continually come out and play against teams that are way worse than them and do not blow them out. They play close games that constantly come down to the fourth quarter, to the wire, where the Bulls not only look sloppy, but they look like there's a chance that they might lose. And it keeps happening. And that is more than all the people talking about Billy Donovan as a coach. This is more than Billy. This is more than AK. This is a team-wide issue. From the management not doing the correct thing, thinking that for some reason continuity is going to magically kick their asses into gear, to Billy making the bad decisions on the floor half the time, to the players looking like they don't want to be a part of a Chicago Bulls team that is competitive. The entire team, top to bottom, looks like trash. And honestly, at this point, I don't even know if this is something where they're not doing it on purpose. Right. The Bulls right now constantly keep saying how they see that they could play against any team. Right. They could play against anybody. They are a team that is going to make it to the playoffs. You can't even beat a bad Grizzlies team. Like, what are you going to do when you go into the playoffs? And you play a team who knows what they're doing, because that's the issue. They keep talking about we're going to make the playoffs. 
Bulls fans don't give a shit about you making the playoffs. We care about you going far in the playoffs. Making the playoffs doesn't mean shit if you lose the first six games in a row. Right? Like, the issue with this team is they're so focused on making the playoffs like that's some type of award that they're not even focused on doing anything in the playoffs. What type of experience is Kobe White getting if he only plays three games and then he's defeated because he can't feel like he has any chance of winning? You have to do something. We keep seeing the Bulls front office talk about the C's, continuity, competitiveness, right? You need to find a new word for a C. You need to find change in that goddamn vocabulary that you keep using. Change something. I don't care if it's a small change. Do something that makes us feel like you give a shit about what you said when you took over this team. You said you wanted to make sure this team was not okay with being mediocre. This team was not going to be okay with not looking like the team Chicago deserves. And you have done nothing. After your first attempt of changing this team to make it any better. Right? And I'm not one of those people who look and say they've done nothing since they started. Because they made changes when they first got here. When AK first started with this team, he made a big trade to get Vooch. He signed Lonzo. He signed Amar. He got Caruso. And they made the effort to make a com competitive, maybe even championship type of team. But when that didn't work out, when Lonzo got hurt, we went into a waiting game. When that didn't work, we continued to act like we couldn't understand that it wasn't working. It's like a toxic relationship. Each year, we prove that we are not going to be a good team. And each year, we go, even though we weren't good, let's try it one more time. I can't leave. I got to try it again because I can make it work. Right? It is down to the point where in the press conference today, AK talked about Zach Levine, and he said, we have a great relationship with Zach. Zach wants to win. Zach is going to be here for the team. Zach asked for a goddamn trade. Zach does not want to be a bull. We also all know he doesn't like Billy Donovan. So to sit here and bold face lie to Bulls fans' face and act like we don't all know that there's turmoil in this locker room with Zach Levine, it's just outright disrespectful. Not only did they talk about Zach Levine, they started to talk about how Io had a great month in January. Kobe's been looking amazing. We all know these things. That doesn't make you a winning team. No one said to trade Kobe or trade Io. We wanted you to get people to trade people on this team who may be doing okay, but could get us something to build towards the future. I don't understand where we're going. Bulls Nation doesn't understand where you're going. I don't think AK understands where he's going. Because honestly, in that press conference, he looked confused. And if I had a counter, if I took a shot for every time that man said, we are going to be competitive or we want to be competitive, I would have alcohol poisoning. He was throwing that word out there like Billy Donovan throws out packs of gum after each game. You as an organization, have to make a change. I give no shits that the Bulls won this game because even though they won this game, they were still a disappointment at how they played throughout. Honestly, if it wasn't for Kobe White, if it wasn't for Stacey King, the Bulls might be completely unwatchable at this point. But what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys because honestly, at this point, it's getting to a point where Bulls fans don't even have hope. The amount of people who sat here today and knew we weren't going to do anything, right? We spent all day at the end of this trade line watching other teams do things to get better, knowing we were going to make no moves because we didn't want to make a change. And I want to hear from you guys. What are you feeling about the Bulls right now? How do you feel? Do you think the Bulls are a competitive team? Do you give a shit? If they make the playoffs, if there's no chance of going any farther than the first round, comment down below. Let you know how you let me know how you feel. Like I said, this is a rant video because I'm tired of seeing this shit as a Bulls content creator who has to watch every single game and to see them come out against a team that's dismantled, has no full roster and still look like shit. 
It is disrespectful to me. It's disrespectful to the city. And it's disrespectful to each and every one of you who tune into these videos to hear us talk about how bad this team is after listening to the front office act like they're okay. I hope y'all had a good time with this video. I hope you hear what I say. I hope you feel the same way. I know most of you do. And if you do, make sure you hit a like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'm going to tell it like it is. I don't give a shit if we win, lose, how we play. I'm going to tell you how I feel about what this team is doing. And that's because this is a place for us to be real. With that, y'all have a great night. I know we won. I know some people are happy we won. Some people aren't. But with that, Y'all have a good night. I'll talk to y'all next time. Peace.